Greetings from the Fredericktown homestead. We got blue skies. Started out about 50 degrees. These guys look like they're doing well. They will have to be moved over. They've already been moved this morning. They're enjoying the sunshine. We had a rainy day yesterday. They do like this ridge along the side here for nesting on. I'm kind of looking over at this side here. Those two little bushy trees there, they... Locusts, they come out. And the dead ones, they come out. And then there's some locusts there, they come out, those bent over locusts. Clean up this area a little bit. Uh, it's hard to see into the sun this time of day. I wish I hadn't gotten a straight run now. These are almost about 80%, I would say, they're roosters. Wouldn't it be nice if these were all pullets? Um, the ground is slimy behind where they were. They moved from this spot yesterday, and because uh, of the rain and all, their manure, it's pretty much slimy. I don't know why they came up this way and then jumped over. I don't know why they didn't continue on. Well, they have been up here. They're kind of going back and forth. I don't know. But uh, I'm sure there's some logic in it. Well, oh, that sun's bright in the face. Nice pumpkins, two of them. I asked in the house if they had any ideas for what we could do with all of our nice big pumpkins. We've got quite a few. I think we've got nine jack o' lantern sized pumpkins. I took some pictures of them last night. The rest of them are 
out there. One thing I'd like to happen today maybe is if we're not going to use this charger, it's got to be inside. Can't be out. This is an electronic device. Been having it out here unused. Uh, let's put it inside. I earned a lift of wood yesterday. That will go right here. Mixture. I'm hoping it's going to be a mixture of hickory and maple. Mike is going to be taking the air and this wood here. I'm working on sheathing the entryway today and I told him I said instead of cutting three and a half out of the cherry all oh, this is three and a half let's use this it's all planed up and uh, varying lengths he's uh, got an end on a stud for all the sidewall so uh, Varying lengths will be an advantage. I don't know what happened to that light, but it won't light up no more. I don't know if I can get a bulb for it or what the deal is. This is three and a half. This can all go over there, and that will free up that wagon. I'd like to free up that wagon. This is an oddball piece. Ah. We get so many oddball pieces. But with that knot and all, it's hard to plane. I didn't finish planing it. And these three here are oddballs. But uh, this is what I've been planing to put on the wagon for him. This is going to be an oddball. See, I could cut this here and make part of it good. I hear a buggy going by. Probably too late to see it. Yep. <laughs> pretty out here. Really pretty. We have the picnic day for the mill, annual company picnic. I'm invited to that, of course, because I'm a driver for the mill and uh, I will talk to the people up there about getting paid my lift of hickory and maple and this morning Gary and I plan to go to the Owl Creek produce auction and uh, picking up some stuff to can before she comes back she's downtown using the internet to post her YouTube. I will uh, plane some more and get some more wood on this wagon for the siding project, sheathing project, whatever. That will free up our wagons. That'll be good. Should free up both wagons. Yeah, three and a half, three and a half. There's a lot of three and a half in the world. All this is, <laughs> that's all three and a half. Well, that's not all three and a half. A lot of it is. That's three and a half. Then you got this two stuff. Two plus. But this is all three and a half. I'm going to start off by uh, trimming off this one, and I'm going to get my day started. It's uh, later than I would have wanted, but I wanted all the sleep I could get. All right, you have a good day. Enjoy watching YouTube or whatever it is you're going to do today, and uh, I will probably get back to you later. God bless.